Welcome everyone to another episode of Unscripted Coding. Today we are looking at OpenAI's Whisper model. Now I've used Whisper for quite some time. This is a model that uh, turns speech into text. So for example, it might take an audio recording of this YouTube video and it will start outputting you know, a plain text script of everything I'm saying. Now, Whisper has been really, really good, but for a long time, and this is an oversight on my part, uh, I've been looking at it as an OpenAI API. So I send them an MP3 file, they send me back text, uh, they charge me a little bit of money for it. It's always been very, very good, but it also costed money. Not a lot, but uh, that's always put a damper on how much I would use this. What I didn't realize, and it's a right here now that I'm looking at it, is that Whisper is open source. So if you go to their GitHub, you will see how it works, how it's set up. You will have all the tools to run it yourself to start um, changing speech and audio into text. And so originally I had thought to use this, but uh, I was Googling around and one of the more useful features in, um, in some of the text to, sorry, speech to text software, one of the more useful features of late is identifying speakers as well. Um, so for example, if I have a conversation with another person, you'll have speaker one, speaker two, speaker one, speaker two, as the conversation goes down. I have found that uh, useful in my own uh, use cases here, and I've actually been using my phone, the built-in Google recorder, to do that. Um, so in many ways, I was thinking, well, can I build something very quickly? And that's when I found... Um, that of course other people have built around this and have made it very accessible so one of the first things i found was this diarization version this one will put out speaker one speaker two speaker three uh as as you go through and and change the speech to text so on one hand we can install all of this and get it running but as i looked further there were tools um, and this one is uh, is one in which uh, you can run it right online with a Google Collab uh, book. So in this case, uh, all we would do is open this link and I will post it right into this uh, video description below so you could take a look and click into it. But you can just run it without installing software without writing code or anything like that. So this is a very handy piece of tool. Um, so how you would do this is you would run this and it would install a whole bunch of things. Uh, this is containerized in Google. So as soon as you disconnect, it's going to delete everything afterwards. So a uh, bit annoying to run this first step. And then you upload your audio file here and then you will be able to download the transcript afterwards. So let's let's try and figure this one out. Um, I have, well, I'm going to take, I'm unzipping a file right now, but this is a small piece of Frankenstein the classic open source novel so uh we should be able to see its accuracy fairly quickly but uh it's just a small piece six um number six out of 21 different uh mp3 files we drag it in here and i probably shouldn't have done that actually um and then we click run and then we click run but i had prepared a second instance here uh, right here, where I ran this already. You'll see that to install all the files, it took three minutes. And this might be a bit small in font, but it took three minutes. It does take a while. But uh, what we're going to do is go to step, the next step. 
So we run this cell, and this will take a little bit of time to take that audio, run it through the whisper model, and finally get our transcript in here. You'll find that this uh, link won't actually work by the end of it, but earlier when I tried it, it was much, much, much easier than trying to create something of my own or installing a bunch of software. So um, in this case, uh, you always have the option of using the API, but it, it once again, like it costs money and it does take a it does take software as well. So it makes a lot of sense if you have a good video card ready to install it yourself, to run it for free and to be able to batch it and really get up to scale. But alternatively, if you're like me and you just have a handful of files here and there, um, you may want to just used, use this notebook. I'm realizing right now that uh, this might take a few minutes as well because uh, it does download the model in this step. So I suspect this will be another you know, two or three minute job. So. I'm going to let you skip ahead in time. Okay, so as you can see, uh, this took all of four minutes, so quite a while. Um, a lot of it was downloading the models. So for example, this one is three gigs. Um, does something earlier as well, I think. Um, oh, maybe not. Uh, it just took a bit of time to download the actual model and then running it through didn't actually take that long. Um, once you get it, uh, this link doesn't work, but your MP3 file will be replaced with a zip file. So I'm going to download this. Um, and let me just find it on my computer here. Um, we have a very long text file and it seems to look all right. Uh, some spelling um, here and there, but it's not too bad. Most of it seems to make sense. Uh, I wish there was better spacing, but this will work just fine. And all of this is speaker zero. So it's trying to figure out if there is another speaker, but really it's an audio book. So there's only one person. Um, the last thing I wanted to show you very quickly is just where this uh, notebook came from. Of course, I need to give a uh, shout out to uh, Tools for All. This is Transcripts for All. Dot github .io. Uh, don't have an actual website yet, but these uh, collab books and links were really, really helpful. Uh, most importantly, there is Whisper and then Whisper Diarization And so this is the one that we ran. Anyways, uh, I think that's all. Once in a while, you know, you start with a project, you're thinking you're going to build a whole bunch of things, and then uh, this is one of those cases where everything I needed was easily found on Google and somebody already did it. Uh, don't need to reinvent the wheel here. Anyways, uh, if you enjoyed this or you want to see a real more hands-on project next time, uh, join us next week for another video. Thanks for watching. Bye!